However, if you are financially independent and seriously you found a woman that you would, inshallah, be happy with, you as a man do not require the approval of your father and your mother. I'm not encouraging you to disobey them. But you are the one who's getting married, not them. So if your mom says, I don't want you to marry her, why? I'm the one who's getting married. I'm not going to ma marry your uh, uh, niece. I'm not going to marry your cousin or your relative. I'm going to marry the woman that I think that would make me happy. And so many times, the parents themselves are an obstacle. A good boy, a good girl, they would make a good match. The mother comes and says, no, no, she's not, a, she's not good for my, my son. The father says, I need to interview the girl. Akhi, what, what do you mean you need to interview the girl? Your boy is a grown up. He's a man. Till now you're interfering in his affairs? Uh, he might not know how to select. He is getting married, not you. She's not a mahram to you. He's allowed in Islam to meet her and to talk to her. You're not. Yet they insist and so many good proposals are interrupted because of the interference of the parents. So if you are, uh, the boy is financially independent, be diplomatic, be dutiful, be obedient to your parents, but marry the one you think is good if her parents are willing to accept and may Allah make it easy for all Muslims.